Hey guys, my name is Jared Lutz and today I'm going to be talking to you about sturgeon fishing. Uh, it brings a lot of fun into my life. Uh, it's a huge hobby of mine and uh, there's really no other better way, I don't think, to spend time on a beach while you're just relaxing. You might as well have a sturgeon line out. You never know what you're going to catch. So I'll take you through a little bit of it here. This is a sturgeon rod I use. This is a 10 foot Daiwa rod. So pretty big there. And the biggest thing, the rod's not too expensive, but the most important part of this whole setup is going to be your reel. Those are a little bit spendy. Uh, it's nice to have a good one. And then also the line. I don't, you can't really tell too well, but the line is actually braided line and it's a hundred pound test. So once we've got the rod and reel and line all set up, off the end of that, we're going to have what's called a slide swivel. And this just slides up and down the line and later on we're going to attach our weight to that. So then you've got another swivel right here, just a barrel swivel and that just goes down and that's going to stop the slide swivel from going any further. Then after that we have our hook and this leader comes pre-tied. Those are pretty good sized hooks you can see here. I'll kind of show you into my hand for comparison. So pretty good sized hook. We're going to be trying to catch decent sized fish. So got to be a pretty good sized hook. Uh, then the next thing really is bait selection. Um, it just kind of depends. Fresh fish is really the best thing. Uh, it doesn't really matter necessarily what kind of fresh fish. Uh, bass, um, squaw fish work really well. I like to use herring. You can just buy these um, like at Sportsman's Warehouse um, or at any fishing store here locally. A lot of them have these different things. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, this is kind of what's worked for me. Just kind of go through the top of the head there and out the mouth just like that. And then we're just going to put a couple half hitches in the line here. And we'll do one more kind of closer towards the tail. Just like that. So that when we drop it down, it's just going to be sitting like this on the bottom. So now we've got that all set up like that. And the last thing we're going to do is put our weight on. And I've got an 8 ounce weight here. Um, just kind of depends on what size, where you're fishing, how much current there is. That's going to kind of dictate what size of weight you use. So I like to just throw, um, this is monofilament line here. And it's less of a pound test than my main line is so that if this gets snagged up it'll break off and I can still catch my fish. That just goes on to the swivel like that and you're ready to go. There's your fishing setup for sturgeon. So that's how I've fished for them. I know a lot of people that do the same thing and usually have pretty good success. I actually went out this weekend and filmed a little bit of uh, me catching one that's about seven and a half feet. So I've got that here coming up for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation. Uh, this is something I'm super passionate about, have a lot of fun doing it, and really encourage people that if you've never felt one, it's, it's an awesome feeling to just go and hook onto a sturge and really get that prehistoric feeling when you reel one in. So thanks everybody, I hope you enjoy. Now, so we just hooked into a pretty good fish. We, uh, no more than dropped it, just like, Two minutes ago, he came out of the water once, looked like he was maybe about a, somewhere between six, eight feet.